I think. I hope the other guy enjoys his remote. <laughs> Found at my local clearance thrift, paid 18 cents. Got it listed right away. There were five listed and 11 sold. Listed at 420, sold in one week for a best offer of $380. She whipped out her pocket knife and started to pry these off. <laughs> I love it. She's got her pocket knife out. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about my Facebook group right here. If you're not in it, I will link it down below. Definitely go join. You will learn about big money bolos there, as well as here on my YouTube channel. I posted this, share your best February bolo in the Facebook group, and I invited everybody to share their bolo. It is free to share your bolo. Um, anybody can share. So you are going to see bolos from my Facebook group members, but you're also going to see bolos from my YouTube members. Uh, YouTube members join at level two, and they get the perk of me shouting out or mentioning their YouTube channel or eBay store and linking it down in the description. So all of you guys can go and sub them up and follow them. Um, they are bolo finders. They are a wealth of knowledge. And I highly encourage you to go down to that description and check them out. So um, if you would like to join memberships, awesome. If not, no worries. It is just there for those that want the perks. So let's get started. The first one comes from Vintage Spice. This is her YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder. Her what sold videos, I love them. The stuff she sells is so cool. And I'm gonna give you some examples right now of those items. But um, she she's newer to YouTube, but I'm gonna tell you, when you watch her, you're gonna be coming back for more. And she is linked down below. Paid $7 and a lot off of Facebook Marketplace. Sold for a best offer of 72 plus shipping. Mark's Big Boss Semi Car Carrier Plastic Yellow Corvette Car from the 1960s Vintage. And she kind of knows her stuff when it comes to marks. So that's the car. And she sold it for $72. Paid about $10 in an online auction. Sold for full sale price of $114.99. This is a vintage artisan dollhouse miniature Victorian wicker sofa. It's a dollhouse piece, a dollhouse sofa. $114.99. You got to love that, right? Oh my goodness. Check this out. Paid a dollar at an estate sale. Sold for best offer of $30. It is a vintage framed mushrooms needlepoint butterfly. 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 Can't talk. Butterfly. Embroidery boho cottage core MCM. And this is what it looks like. At first I was like, is that for a dollhouse? I'm like, oh, it's so cute. It's for a dollhouse. But I don't think it's for a dollhouse. I think it's just a regular uh, needlepoint. All right, those were all three from Vintage Spice. This one here, it says, how cute are these mama jammers? They are anthropomorphic. I can't say the word either. <laughs> she knew I wasn't going to say it right. <laughs> and by the grace of spell check, we have the word before you. I grabbed these cute little guys for 99 cents each, and unfortunately, I am new to selling and lumped them into the 10% off sale going on through my store. I was absolutely pleased to have them sold after just four hours of posting them. Maybe I priced them too low, but honestly was super excited to move them so quickly. They are just adorable and I will always be boloing these little ones. I love it, boloing, that's a new word. They are WMG anthropomorphic coffee shelf sitters set of five, $249.99 and those are too cute. The next one, this set of Crocil, I had no idea about. I found at the Goodwill for $12.99 all in. Thought it was beautiful and didn't run a comp because it was shoulder to shoulder that day. Just super excited I got all the pieces in my cart before anyone snatched that, um, snatched it up. 
Okay, I was thinking, was it the Goodwill bins? No, it was just the Goodwill for $12.99. Okay, I got it home and found nothing for comps competitively. My set was super cool, had so much de detail compared to the other highly sought after styles in this brand. I threw a price on it and one day later I got full asking price. Ugh. I started to wonder if I could have found a better comp on WorthPoint. I'm finding lots of things that I know have lots of value, but coming up short for comps on eBay. Okay, so... Um, I just talked about worth point in another video. Definitely, definitely worth it. In my opinion, depending on what you sell, worth point has made me way more money. I put it off for a long time because I was too cheap to buy it. It's kind of pricey, but I will tell you it will pay for itself. Um, I do have a link down below. You can check out pricing. There's three different tiers. It is a referral link. So um, I would appreciate it if you use my link. That would be awesome. But let's look at what she sold here. And I do have videos on WorthPoint to show you why I think it's worth it. I like to show you guys the value and the things that I use. Like I have a List Perfectly video and WorthPoint and Wholesale, just different. The things that I use, I use. If I'm like talking to you guys about it, it's because I use those things. So those are all linked down below and most of them have a video to go with them. So this is what it looks like. It says cross kit. Cross Kill, Kill, I don't know how to say it. Uh, hand painted 3D flowers bathroom set accessories, four pieces, $136 on that. Bought for $8.98 at the Goodwill. Sold within a week for full asking price. Hope I didn't underprice it. It's a vintage Star Wars Intex inflatable like raft or tube and it looks like it's vintage. <gasps> she sold it for 130 bucks. She may have underpriced that. I just showed one in another video that sold for $999 and I think 97 cents or 99 cents. I'm not sure. I mean, we're talking cents. But that's in another um, members video. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure which video we'll post first, but it sold for almost $1,000. Crazy what some of these inflatable rafts will sell for. So definitely be on the lookout. Oh, here she goes. She gave me the full title. Land Speeder Pool Float Lounge 1999 Open Box. All right, this comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And this is her... YouTube channel. She also has a non-profit eBay store, which is linked down below. They have over 500 rescue animals on a farm that they take care of. So definitely check out their store. If you buy from their store, those proceeds go towards the farm. This is what she sold. Cartoon Gar Garfield mascot costume, adult character suit, 30 inches and in seam, sample dream, sold it for $130 plus shipping. She said, I picked it up at a live auction for $10, sold for $110 plus shipping. So she took a best offer. Love live auctions. That is awesome. Found this Department 56 Peanuts Sledding Hill at my local Goodwill for $6. But all Christmas was 75% off. So $1.50. Woo, I love a good Christmas sale. I practically ran up front to see if it worked, and it did. Unfortunately, Soup Snoopy was not in the box. Darn. I listed for 110, took a best offer of 95 plus shipping. P.S. When I got home and was triple checking it, it, I heard a rattle, took the bottom off, and there was Snoopy. So it was complete. 95 bucks plus shipping, and this is what it looks like. I got these zebra wind chimes at the Goodwill bins for 50 cents. They, The buyer paid full price and shipping all in for $44.34. Soft tuned bamboo wood chimes. Seated wooden zebra, 38 inches, and sold it for $29.99. And this comes from Bolo Buddies member, Jeannie Marie. And this is her eBay store. Found this vintage looking Halloween cat at the Goodwill. I love to find anything Halloween. Paid $5 and got full asking price. Went to a movie production company in England. This comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. And if you guys have been following me a while, she has the most incredible store. I don't know how she finds so many cool things, but this is her store, her eBay store. It is linked down below. And if you go down and you follow the eBay stores to follow a store, there's a little heart and you click on that heart and then you will get notifications when they list new items. You will also get notifications if they send out a coupon to their followers. 
This is a Department 56 Halloween Black Cat Paper Mache Glitter Candy Bucket. And I just sold one of these and mine was a duck. Like an, a duck. Yeah, it's in one of my videos. Can't remember what mine sold for. But she sold hers for $64 plus shipping. Bought this Catherine's Collection Big Lip Fish. Love this brand and I always do well. Bought it at an estate sale for a dollar and got asking price of 31. It's an ornament. And Catherine's Collection Pink Fish Ornament Red Glitter Lips Pearl Necklace. Oh, it's a necklace. Wait a minute. Oh, it has a pearl necklace. That's so funny. The fish has on a pearl necklace. And this one also comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Love to find Fenton Glassware. Bought it in an estate sale for 15 and listed for 85 and took an offer of 80. Buyer paid shipping. Want to say thanks to Courtney for all she has taught me and always there to help. Oh, you're welcome, Trina. Thank you so much for being a member. And uh, I always love seeing your store and looking through it and checking out your bolos. You have an awesome, amazing store. It is a Fenton Cranberry Heart Optic Sentiments Collection 5-inch picture. Sold on eBay. First three sales was Haas Laboratories Lady Gaga Makeup. Paid 20, 28 cents each. So quantity seven, cost of goods $1.96, sold for $105. Quantity seven, cost of goods $1.96, sold for $145. Quantity three, cost of goods $0.84, cents, sold for $45. Picked up at a POE Amazon Ben store. You know, you always hear about those Amazon Ben stores, right? This is what it looks like. So Haas Laboratories, H-A-U-S, I guess be on the lookout. Um, and I, in this situation, you know, she sold multi-quantity and that's why it increased the sold price so much. But she only had 20 cents each in them. So that's incredible. The other one sold on Poshmark and it says Zygo Soho Sandals. Cost of goods $1.34 from Goodwill Bins and sold for $99. And this is what those look like. This one comes from Toy Attic. And Jody picked up three of these vintage outfits. Richie was a doll made by Mego. In the early 70s, I'm not sure why a kid would want an action figure of his creepy uncle, but I guess that's why they are rare. <laughs> I paid 10 each for these and I've sold two in the first week for 65 each. I have no idea who this is, but apparently it's some creepy uncle. That's so funny. Go check out Toy Attic. She's incredible. Vintage 1971 Mega Richie Doll Outfit, Snow King, Ken, G.I. Joe clone, sold for 65 And this one here sold for 65 It's the Wild and Wooly Outfit. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member eBay store, Tamarantula's Trinkets. So hard to say. Not a big money bolo, but the story makes it interesting. I went to the bins, bought a Christmas tree trinket box. Inside, I found six $5 bills for a total of $30. So I took the 30 back to the bins. I bought a pretty full cart of things, which included this. It is a puppet. Cherry is the chair from Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. I sold it almost immediately for $40. Not big money, but great return on that found $30. So found the money and took it back and spent it and made more money. That's the way to do it, right? My sister and I bought this living dead doll, Elisa and others from an estate sale for 20. She sold for full asking price of $270 within three weeks. Buyer paid shipping. The buyer sent the sweetest thank you message and feedback for posting it. Who knew something like this could be so special to someone? Mezco living dead dolls, uh, Elisa in coffin and it is new old stock series nine and that's what it looks like this one comes from flippin hot finds and she is a bolo buddies member and this is her ebay store bought at a local town junk flea market these are Ch Chillmark limited edition numbered and signed usa vintage statues purchased a lot total of 21 paid 3.95 a piece this one sold, oh, I'm sorry, this was sold to a returning customer who has bought many from me. I only have two remaining. Poland Chillmark Vintage Fine Pewter Statue sold for $125 plus shipping. 
This one comes from AEG Estate Treasures. And it says, here is my February Bolo. I purchased this from a local thrift store for $4. Sold it for full asking price of 154 plus shipping and it was listed for four months. It is a large vintage porcelain ceramic white love doves figurine signed USA. And this is what it looks like. Picked up this lamp at a thrift junk store where three older gentlemen spend their days hanging out. Sold, I'm sorry, paid $10. Could have gotten a lot more if I had waited, but couldn't pass up an offer of $175. Last baby lamp of his sold for $5.99. Should have left listed higher. I had it at $4.75. But just getting going full time instead of part time and happy to get things moving. Only took a week to sell. So it's a vintage Frederick copper nude baby butt, huh? Double bulb lamp leaning on books. Rare. That's what it looks like. That's so funny. She paid 10 and sold it for 175. All right, the next one. Bought for $2.99 at a local Goodwill, sold on eBay, took an offer to make it 100, including shipping for the buyer. Still netted a little over 80. And it is a Hulit. Hewlett Packard HP graphing calculator, original case tested. And this is what it looks like. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member YouTube channel, K Meeks, the traveling thrifter. And this is her YouTube channel. And um, it says my Bolo of the week. I normally don't pick up kids shoes, but I bought these kids. Is it Yeezy's? For only $4. Sold. I accepted an offer of $75. They were pretty soiled, but I cleaned them up and added new laces. Customer gave me five-star feedback yesterday. And she is K Meeks 20 on Poshmark. And this is the listing right here. So she had to put some work into it and clean them up. But hey, nice profit, right? And she is also on Instagram. And she has a crazy following on Instagram. So check her out there as well. This one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, and she is a bolo finder. She is also a moderator of this group, so show her some love with a sub and tell her thank you on one of her videos. Sold this within a week of listing it, none, none others out there. I listed it high knowing it would hit my sale and bam, it sold for $54.99. They are all in at $76.31 with tax and shipping. I actually talked about this in my latest let's talk about it video on Easter collectibles. And it is a Hallmark Easter egg, a cheery chick panoramic scene with color changing light from 2014. Yes, Noelle did a video called let's talk about it on Easter collectibles. She also has some on Tupperware, stickers, you name it. She has a video on it. She does live shows. You guys can come ask questions and she digs deep into different categories. So definitely sub her up. She said, I paid pretty much pennies for it in a $5 fill -a bag sale this summer. Sold both of these maps to the same buyer for a best offer of $70 each plus shipping. So they were in all in for a total of $158.78 shipped. These were in a box of ephemera that I got free at an estate sale. They were going to throw it away. Wow. This is what they look like. They are historic USDA tropographical maps from 1963. And there are two of them there. And just a big money bolo finder, Noelle is. This one comes from She Picker. So these are very old McGregor zipper pulls from a golf bag. I found the bag at the Goodwill Benz, but certainly did not want the bag. All of a sudden, the video with Courtney Bolo Buddies taking that darn door off the dollhouse came to my mind. So at the Goodwill Benz, I took a door off of a dollhouse. <laughs> so she decided she whipped out her pocket knife and started to pry these off. <laughs> I love it. She's got her pocket knife out. By weight, I paid less than 10 cents. They sold for a best offer of $22.50 in less than 30 minutes of listing. Thanks, Courtney. You are truly a reselling rock star. YouTube channel, she picker. Instagram, she underscore picker ebay store two sister pickers and she is a bolo buddies member and i just love this this cracks me up i can just see her like prying them off at the goodwill bins and uh this is what they look like up close 
This next one paid $6.99, sold in 24 hours. I think I should have sold them for much more, but I learned a new bolo and a talented artist. It is Barefoot's Black Bear figurine by Jeff Fleming, Mom Holding Cub and Butterfly. And this is what it looks like. Picked up these mini nesting vases. The tallest one is 3.5 inches on the second day of an estate sale. Got them for a dollar. I don't know much about pottery, but they were signed on the bottom and I figured the price was right for the risk. Turns out McAf McAfee pottery is well known, a well-known thing. And there's several of the, their pieces listed. I had it at 45 and took a best offer of 40. And this is what they look like. Nesting vases from the 40s or 50s, mini size. How cool is that? This one comes from February Bolo. Picked this up at a thrift store for $4.99. Sold within a week for $65 plus shipping. Have had good luck with selling this brand. Mariposa Polished Aluminum Sunglass Sectional Server. This is what it looks like. And this comes from, I don't know how to say her name. Kahoff? Kahoff? K-A-H-O-F-F-77. -F and this is her eBay store. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. Another Bolo alert. Most know about Texas Instruments calculators. This one I didn't know about. It is a Texas Instruments extract, exact, oh, Exactra 20. I think I said it right. Found at my local clearance thrift. Paid 18 cents. Got it listed right away. There were five listed and 11 sold. Listed at $420, sold in one week for a best offer of $380. What makes this calculator so desired? Question mark. It's the bubble strip under the red is desired by Star Wars enthusiasts because the bubble stripe was used to make the original lightsaber and enthusiasts make replica props. That's an incredible story. Thank you for sharing that. And then right here, she's got a photo of the bubble strip. Pretty cool, right? New member, first share. Pick this retro 1951 tornado pin from Salvation Army for $1.99. Knew nothing about the brand, but I like the box, graphic, and the subject matter. Travel and campers always sells. Quick comp search was around 30 or 40. Not too shabby, right? Did more research on Terapeak and found some that had sold in the $150 range. The one I had wasn't on eBay and never had been. Check the manufacturer site and it was not for sale, sale there either. I assumed it was a retired model. This is where Worth Point would come in. Listed it for $150 to test the waters. It sold in less than two hours for full asking price and buyer left feedback, positive feedback. And this is what it looks like. It's a retro 1951 tornado rollerball pin, Route 66, Arizona, painted desert Grand Canyon. And here is the packaging and everything. So that is great. I picked up this vintage puzzle in new original packaging at my local thrift store for a dollar. I knew I could make a profit, but I wasn't sure just how much. Yeah, if it's new old stock, pick it up if it's a buck. Once I got to researching, it is definitely a bolo. It sold within hours for my full asking price of $239.99 and I received positive feedback. Now who would want to attempt to put that puzzle together? It looks like holographic gift wrap to me and a huge headache, but I am thrilled with the sale. New prismatic Springbok jigsaw puzzle, 500 pieces. Wow. Incredible. A dollar into $239.99. That's great. I picked up this doll and a boy version doll at a garage sale for a dollar each. They just look special, but I didn't know anything about them. After researching, I found out there are so many different styles of these dolls, and I was unable to narrow down which ones I had. I listed them individually on auction, and this is Sasha Doll. She sold for $203. How exciting. I am so glad I chose the auction format because most comps I found were around $100, and the doll was completely clothed. Not bad for a dollar investment, and I now know to be on the lookout. Yeah, it's a vintage nude Sasha Doll with brunette hair, brown eyes, white cord. Not sure what that means. Maybe it's a pull string. 
purchased this two weeks ago at the Goodwill bins for $5.99. It weighs 23 pounds. Anything over eight pounds, we can ask the cashier to bulk price it. Depending on how they feel that day, you might get half off the full price by weight or just some random number they like. I got the random number that day. I found it out at the end of the day as I was walking around the edges of the bins rows looking at people's rejects. Yes, if you don't know, if you're at the Goodwill bins and after everybody's looked through everything, check the ends because that's where all the throwbacks are. She said, I think it was rejected by someone and they threw it back because it wasn't there on my first pass. I'm assuming the person didn't feel like shipping something that heavy. Took the remote out, worth 40 on eBay, and threw the rest back. The machine is in pristine condition, in box with all wiring and original manual. I looked it up quickly at the bins and saw three to $400 comps. However, at home on Terapeak, I found some comps and active for $799.99, but all shipping from Japan, and none had the box or manual. Listed mine for $799.99 with USA seller in the title. I disclosed no remote in the listing, and in two weeks, it sold for full asking price and free shipping. It only cost me $25 to ship it, and that was with additional insurance for $800 and signature required at delivery. All said and done, I profited about $650, I think. I hope the other guy enjoys his remote. <laughs> Oh, you got to love that. And this is what it looks like. It's a Sony EV-S900 8mm high 8 stereo hi-fi VCR video player recorder deck tested and working. Wow. 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 Would you have picked it up or left it behind? Would you have been the person that took the remote and threw it back? I think if it was in the box, I would have looked twice at it because... It was in the original box. I mean, seriously, in the original box. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have tons of BOLO videos. Um, again, if you're new here, an item that is a BOLO is an item to be on the lookout for. An item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. There's gonna be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a BOLO video down below. I would love for you guys to subscribe. Is my background a jeans curtain? No, these are jeans. These are just hanging jeans. This is my background. I always get that question. All right, you guys, I will see you at the next one. And thanks for watching. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just write the word hoot.